Hello! Happy Friday, everybody! Uh, it's almost the weekend, so for those of you who are counting down the hours, let me uh, help with that, with the distraction here. We got Pokemon Blue. Uh, we are finishing up our Nuzlocke run today. Um, we've just got, uh, we've got Blaine, we've got uh, Giovanni, and then we've got the Elite Four. So, there ain't much left of this. So, um, I'm probably going to grind a little bit in Victor Road just to make sure I get through the Elite Four with no problems. But, uh, we'll see how things play out. Um, just as a reminder, here's my team uh, currently. So, Actually, I don't, probably don't need to do as much grinding as I thought I did. I forgot that uh, both my Charizard and Snorlax are both level 50. Um, I've got my Vaporeon at 47, who I'm probably going to actually uh, lead off with here. Because um, we're about to challenge uh, Blaine here to start off the stream. Um, I've got my Sand Slash at 43. I've got uh, Weeping Belt 29, and i got my uh, Pidgey at 9. <laughs> Um, I don't plan on leveling either of them up. Um, I could level up Weeping Bell or something. Um, we'll see how things play out. But uh, I'm kind of kind of just chilling, stalling a little bit just to make sure people who want to come in and watch the stream have a chance to come in here. Um, actually. Uh, I've got 117,000 Pokemon. -y. Let's go ahead and uh... Wait, does it... okay. So everyone has a nickname, so I don't need to do that. Um, let's go to Celadon. Um, we're gonna go buy some uh, stat boosts. Um, and get those on. I feel like making Snorlax just an immovable tank is uh, not a terrible idea. But I'm pretty sure whatever items I end up getting. Uh, oh, that's too many for seems like a waste of money. But it's okay. I've said this before. Snorlax is definitely like one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Like, I'll be honest, I'm thoroughly excited to have both Charizard and Snorlax on my team still. Um, so very excited about that. Uh, not only that, but I got a Vaporeon. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, and, you know, truth be told, I literally went into this Nuzlocke run, like, 
completely blind, like knowing nothing other than like the core of what Pokemon is. I don't know. What, I don't really need to do this, but whatever. All right. Oh, this should be... This should be just a... Walk in the park. Ooh, Ninetales. Fire Pokemon there really are in this uh, this first gen here. Um, I did happen to cross the uh, Nuzlocke Reddit and was looking at things, and someone had suggested on there uh, I forget who, but it was you do any game out of the first six generations. Um, And then you uh, take them and ooh, try and look in another mist. I forget what mist does. I think it. Nope. I'm good. Not mist. Anyways, you, you take the all the poke like you play a Nuzlocke run in the first six games, and then you use those Pokemon that you have left from those six games, and that is all you can use in the last game. And I thought that was absolutely fucking brilliant. Uh, it sounds like a lot of fun. Because um, I've I was thinking, like, eh, you know what? I kind of wouldn't mind doing Pokemon Silver next. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying playing Pokemon with this level of challenge. I mean, granted, I feel like I'm still just waffle stopping through this. Like, I almost feel like, what was the point where I feel like I've missed a rule of some sort? But. I looked up the, the rules that's agreed upon by the subreddit. And, you know, it's, uh... Pretty simple. Like, I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. The only house... I mean, I did take the house rule to make it easier. Um, where I was able to... Skip dupes. But even then, I still have a decent chunk of Pokemon. So. Oh, now I remember how this gym works. I'm like, why do they not engage with me, like, at all? And then I remembered, right. Um, so, what you can do is you can answer the trivia question. And if you get it right... Uh, the door unlocks. If you get it wrong, then you have to fight the trainer. But I want the XP, and I want the money. So, of course I'm going to fight the trainer. Because uh, I really don't feel like I'm in any sort of, like, danger here. Like, even... Like... I've just been one-shotting everything to serve here. Oh, sweet, 49. And I believe this is the last one. And then it's Blaine after this. Wow. 
That sprite does not do his uh, his figure just justice. See, like, in this gen, he looks very much like a mad scientist. And, like, when you get to, like, the silver-gold generation and you fight him, he very much has more of that, uh, kind of, like... Like, that, that, the, the old dude that you see in the park playing chess. Like, that's what he reminds me of. Rapid dash. Okay. Oh no, my defense went down. Arcanine? Yeah. Although, in all fairness, Arcanine is a. I really like Arcanine as a Pokemon, but. Oh, what's that? Didn't even take di fucking damage. Fire Blast to Charizard? Wait, does Charizard even know Flamethrower yet? He does, okay. I, mean, I could definitely get rid of Ember for Fire Blast. If I remember correctly. So, Flamethrower is nice because it has the 100% accuracy. But Fire Blast has more power, but then you lose accuracy. Alright. So... This, this gym I'm a little more hesitant on. I feel like this is the gym that uh, can really fuck me up. Cause I, I think the levels are even just a little bit higher, so I wouldn't be surprised if I'm like at level with some of this stuff. Which makes me like want to go grind experience, but at the same time, like the best place to grind experience is Victory Road. So I think I'm gonna take on the first uh, trainer and see how it goes. Oh, I miss an end in this. Let's take on this dude here. Oh. I mean, Rhyhorn, that's a slam dunk. Four times. Plus, uh, so, super effective, both against rock and ground. Stab. So it's six times damage, like, that thing would have been fucked even even if I didn't. Alright. Choke. Let's, let's surf it out. That works. Chop. Watch me. Yeah, 
yes, he's... You know, and I think because the sprites looked so derpy in Gen 1 here, like when you get to Pokemon uh, Stadium 1, and you can see these sprites in three dimensions, it's like, whoa! This gym, not too bad. I mean, it's like I don't have a type advantage anymore. Ooh, 51. Jeez, 152 special? That has nothing to sneeze at. One, type advantage. Uh, two, um, I want to get him some experience. Hell yeah. That's what I want to see. That's the thing about uh, this gym is that it's kind of all over the place with types. Oh no, my attack fell. <laughs> Nine nine. Bathroom, All right. Well, I just fucking cleared the entire gym. So now, one thing to keep in mind is that I actually skipped a route. Um, there's the route between Cinnabar Island and Talent Town that I could have come up, and I skipped that for a couple reasons. One, um, I just didn't feel like surfing the entire way there. Uh, but two, um, I wanted to keep that as a possibility for later.
um, in case I needed to train or something like that. But uh, here's Giovanni. Now, I know he's got five Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Nidoqueen and Nidoking are two of them. And I want to say they're all low 40s, and his Kangaskhan is like 50. This is where I'm mildly concerned. Oh, it's even up fight, so this should work out in my favor here. Yep, toast. Where are we all left? Right on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's just switch back to uh, Vaporeon. And toast. Oh, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. percent chance of one-shotting the opponent. Um, the wrinkle is that it only works on Pokemon at or below your level. It cannot work on Pokemon above your level. Nope, 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 don't want to... I, I just healed him. Don't need to do that again. Alright. Um, but, I did leave this TM in here. Um, okay. I just wanted to see uh, what my options were there with Blizzard. Um, ooh. I think if I cut this down, that dude gives me something. Who knows? Uh, Sand Slash. Oh, Dream Eater. Which actually wouldn't be terrible to have with Snorlax. Oh, fuck. So, as if it's not bad enough, um, uh, there's a rival fight coming up. He's going to have Alakazam, he's going to have Arcanine, Blastoise. Ew, Blastoise. Uh, that's going to be a job for Snorlax, because I don't think uh, Weeping Bell's going to cut it. Um, not that it really matters, but I'm going to save. I caught my Pokemon from this route. Or I had my attempt here. Ice Beam! Rhyhorn. You don't have Rhydon? What are you waiting for? Well, I guess you're waiting for me to do that. Growlithe. 
Jesus, Vaporeon just gonna be like, yep, I got this. gonna get I'm gonna try body slam. Hell yeah. yeah here's blast twice. Oh I can't check stats. Alright. Yes he's paralyzed. Hot damn. Ooh, yeah, the hydro pump. How bad is that gonna hurt? Not, not actually that bad. Alright, that's, uh... That's that. Now, I don't remember the sequence of events that happen with the Pokemon League. I want to say that's the last time I fight my rival. But at the same time, I feel like that's not correct. Actually, you know what I should do? Snorlax isn't a legendary Pokemon, it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, it's in the way. So... I wanted to make it through this without the legendary Pokemon. But... Zapdos would not be a terrible idea.
Hooray! Got a ditto. Yes. Um... that I've done this once in the past, or twice, or whatever, how many times I've done it in the past, but it's been a long time since I've actually played. Alright, so that should... for you? I think ice is good against grass. See, this is why Zapdos would come in handy, because I don't really have a response to water type Pokemon other than Cool Whip, who I just don't want to level. And I'm kind of afraid to just offer him up as a sacrifice right now. Because he's 
is really my best Pokemon catching tool I have. Yeah, you had a chance in hell. still go back and I'm like, oh man, I should have gotten that Onyx, but it's like, why? Onyx's stats suck. Oh, this is, that's rude. And I'm like, well, Steelix isn't bad. Steelix doesn't exist in this gen. Hydro Pump. have those PP ups, but I haven't quite decided uh, which moves I'm going to use, use that with yet. I mean, it kind of just comes down to however the only four is situated. Like, I remember Lance being a thing, and Lance has three Dragonite. Aerodactyl. Oh, what else does he have? Like, his entire team is all flying. percent chance to encounter a Marowak. Alright, I'm done with the first floor. We're now on the second one. How's my Pokemon doing? Alright, let's uh, switch and get... Oh, I hate... I don't want to have Charizard front and center yet. Because there's fucking Geodudes. I 
Like, the beforehand really has the type of thing that she has. Last thing I need is a Geodude just popping off on me. I think the worst part is I think I'm misremembering the Elite Four for the uh, Silver Gold Crystal Gen. Because I keep thinking Bruno is the second Elite Four, and I know. That's not it. Wait a minute, no. So Koga is the current gym leader in Fuchsia City, and in Gen 2 he becomes an Elite Four member. Fuck. Agatha, I'm pretty sure, is one of the Elite Four members. That, a, like, pretty sure. part is, so there's the Messino uh, hack, um, a hack, bug, where you can use it and duplicate items. 
So I remember finding all of the TMs already in this game and duped them, so I've got like a metric shit ton of them. It's like, oh, there's no way to get the, that gem of Pokemon. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I mean, I don't have to dick around too much, because I know what I'm doing. gets me about this place is that the uh, levels of the Pokemon vary. And of course, it's three onyx in a row. Oh, that's that's Moltres. Oh, go bat. Ooh, not confused, Ray. Well, there's 55.
Really? That just happened? Very short lived drowsy way back before I fought Erica. Oh, he's gonna whip me. Kinky. Yeah. I can definitely feel there's some gaps. Ooh, payday. Yes, I want to switch. Gold Duck is... I think still just a water type. Saving those all game. Fury swipes. No. I just uh, took out a Persian. The Pokemon. Not. <laughs> so you already got the achievement for starting a 99-year game. <laughs> nice. Oh, not a dig. Let's, uh, let's, let's get the cuddle bug out here. Alright, well, I guess I gotta go up these stairs. Oof. 
so Iron Jesus has been uh, cruel to you. destroyed Blaine and Giovanni, so uh, we're on our way to the uh, Elite Four right now. Oh, this is infuriating. Slash and it didn't crit. Interesting. Hey, I'm awake. random battle. And then I'm going to have a trainer battle. Oh, hey, Topaz. Yeah, you missed some shit. Uh... I already took out both Blaine and Giovanni, and my rival. So we're in victory road already. I mean, in all fairness, that's kind of like a one-two punch. Bug Charlie and see if he's uh, around. Uh. Oh, I bet he's actually busy with work. Oh, um, there was a casualty, by the way, Topaz. You did miss, uh, I did lose. Another member. Yeah. Lost him to a fucking drowsy of all things. Oh, 
look! I fixed the poison! Uh oh. There we go. Although he's still asleep, isn't he? Should I not go get Zapdos? That's kind of the thing, is I don't remember who the Elite Four are. I've been trying to figure that out. And I'm getting it mixed up because of how Gen 1 and Gen 2 are lined up. All I know is that uh, Koga is there in Gen 2, but not Gen 1. Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha, Lance, and then Arrival. Oh! That is not how I thought that... Okay. Well, fuck. <laughs> Which, in all fairness, that means that I, at the very least I'm going to have to deal with the Gyarados and I'm going to have to deal with Blastoise. If I'm not mistaken, that Blastoise is going to be level 65. And, like, I already dealt with this Blastoise earlier, which wasn't terrible, but... Oh, there's Moltres. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I just don't know. Like, I feel like I need an electric type. That's the only way I can really guarantee myself an electric type at this point. There's a way I could do it if I'm desperate. Well, I wouldn't say I'm desperate. But I would I would say that it... Don't you... Crit, I would have lost Vaporeon. That would have been bad. That would have been a fuck me moment. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta deal with uh, Weep and Bell here. Fuck, I already had a ditto. I didn't need to catch that ditto. God damn it. Alright. I 
can't take Kangaskhan, and I can't take Nidoran. Both of those I caught in Safari Zone. Much as I, I'm trying to do this as a clean, like, no, no legendaries. So what was your idea for uh, something else to deal with, like Blastoise and Gyarados? I, I think I think the play right now is uh, to go and get Zapdos. I just flew to the exact same spot I was. God damn it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to teach Explosion. Uh, actually, that low kick might not be a terrible thing to teach Hitmonchan. We probably can't learn it. Let's just put Mike Tyson up front. Yeah, I am uh, not crazy about having to re-slide this rock back in place. This is the third time I'm doing it now. But um, oh, this is like a furious wipe to take. Let's just put out Cuddlebug, because I have a feeling this thing's going to blow up on me now. What's your what's your thoughts on Gyarados? Oh, I thought you said I had. Uh, so there's a way. I, 
I could do it if I'm desperate. And I was just wondering what uh, your thoughts were. Oh, nice. Just Muhammad Ali his ass. Oh god. I feel like if I try running and I fail, that thing's gonna blow up and gonna suck. I don't exactly like that idea of putting Thunderbolt on Snorlax. I'm gonna get through Victory Road. And then when I'm done with Victory Road, I'm gonna go to the power plant and get one of those. Um Because there's nothing that says I can't go I can't use a legendary Pokemon, and there's nothing that says I can't use a Mashable. I mean there are like house rules to make that a thing where it's more difficult where I can't use like certain types of Pokeballs or don't use legendaries. But, I think in this case, um, I feel like it's more wanted. Like, I, I want to get the W. I don't want to get through the two Elite Four and then just have everything fall off the rails. Like, I'd rather be able to go in, get her done. And so I feel like uh, that's, that's, that's where we're at right now. I think that's the, I think that's the game plan here. We're, we're gonna go get ourselves a Zapdos. And the funny part is I could just teach uh, Zapdos fly, and I can get rid of Pidgey. Where the heck? Am I supposed to bring that all the way the fuck over there? Zapdos is just... I think Zapdos is the best choice of the three birds. Because I don't need Articuno because I've already got Vaporeon. And I don't need Moltres because I have Charizard. Oops, I don't know. <laughs> I accidentally throw out Pidgey. Whoops, there goes my... uh. Although I do like the legendary birds in this gen.
Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the thing, it's like, water types come up and I'm just like, fuck, what do I do? talking about things that I don't know what's going on. Victor Bell's through a leaf stone, isn't it? God damn it, I could have evolved Beacon Bell. I put out some relax. Do I use the hyper potion? Nope, I use the lemonades. That's what they're there for.
there's something on this. Save just because it's symbolic. scary than a Snorlax that can move. Hey, Charlie. Uh, I mean, he didn't miss much. Oh, I feel like this is a terrible idea. I feel like... Uh, Weep and Bell died. Uh, and I defeated Blaine, and Giovanni and my rival, and have made it to the Pokemon League. Okay. 
kind of hoping it would explode before I could finish using Dig. The fact that I can actually use a normal type move against Magnemite and it does normal damage. God damn it. We're gonna, we're gonna find a bunch of these bolt orbs, aren't we? What? <laughs> I was hoping for that. Day me. I suppose I could have caught a Pokemon here, couldn't I? Have? I think I've already committed in my head that I'm getting zapped though, so I'm just like, eh, whatever. Not only that, but uh, I lost my uh, Leaping Bell, which was great for that. The only thing I have now is a... Uh, yay! You know, I imagine, like, this power plant is, like, uh... You know how, like, you watch, like, a western movie, and, like, you roll into, like, this deserted town, and you have, like, all the, like, tumbleweeds? Like, I imagine it's like that, but in place of the tumbleweeds, it's just both words rolling around. Dear fucking lord! Holy crap! I can't even hear the music start playing, it's just like, nope, and battle. about that, Charlie, because I genuinely don't know the emojis at all in Twitch. Like, I see them and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Who HP up. Who needs more hit points? Eventually, uh, I can unlock the ability to create my own emojis, or have a means to create my own emojis, and then we can use those, which are more, like, things that we know. <laughs> Plant right now, but just 
just got so much good stuff in it that I need to... I'm glad I decided to do this. Oh, it's an electrode. Ruh -ruh. Oh, it's faster than me. Uh -oh. Yeah! Oh, I didn't realize that was Zapdos. I just walked up to it thinking it was an item. Yep, not even fucking around with that. Oh, but we have to nickname Zapdos. What do we nickname Zapdos? Oh, I got it. Unless someone's got a better one. I'll give you guys a, a moment to chime in with, uh, with what you got. Because, uh... Here, I'll, I'll throw mine in real quick. See if you guys uh, like it or not. Um, if you don't... I don't know if this is a reference of a reference, but, uh... What I'm thinking of is, uh... In Archer, uh... There is, like an electric, uh, bird that, uh, is nicknamed Funbeak, so that's kind of why I'm going with this. There's definitely some stuff that I missed in here. Because if there's another chance for like an HP up or something like that, I'm, like, I'm all for it. Yes, I do know what Pog means. I had to look it up, thanks to you. Uh, I assume Pog Champ is derivative of Pog. I mean, I, I feel like that's almost redundant. Like, Pog Champ is just that. Oh, God damn it. I mean... Oh. So I will go on record. There are certain words that when abbreviated irritate the shit out of me. One of which I've just started noticing is people are abbreviating the word AND to N-D. And that irritates the ever-loving piss out of me. Ooh, I don't like this. I'm gonna switch to, uh, Cuddlebug. And... Oh, he has, like, no attack. Uh, you 
don't get the meaning of what Topaz of. Zapdos doesn't even have four moves yet. Okay, well now it has four moves. I only had two... Okay, we have to level up Zapdos. Or I suppose I could just teach it Thunderbolt. is do I teach something to Mike Tyson? what I'm going to do here, as I've got five Pokemon that are all decently leveled, um, I'm going to get the rest of, I'm going to give them all the 55 here. Um, and I think that should be enough for me to be able to deal with the Elite Four. Um, I think if I wasn't streaming, I would go to 60 just to be safe. Um, but, uh, not exactly the most uh, exciting thing is to watch me crying here. But then again, I can uh, I can do this at three times the speed, so that's true. But uh, I've got a super relax that can. Literally just take it. I didn't heal.
more or less I have 26 Pokemon I have to deal with without losing. Here's a fun idea. Should I take and teach uh, self-destruct to Snorlax? Like, keep the TM on me. Wait till the end, uh, right before I fight my rival. Teach Snorlax self-destruct and then just go there and blow up the last Pokemon. Like, I feel like that would be it. Hilariously fun. Uh... Nope, we're good on the explosions. Although I do like the idea of using Sand Attack to make the enemy Pokemon miss more. And then to think that, like, ah, I can't see you stumbling around and then explode, like, off in the distance. It's like, okay. That idea just is hilarious to me. Consider probably like the last two minutes I've had what fifteen encounters. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna take me long to. Question, should I go and get more lemonades? Or should I just go ham on full restores? I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of this capital here. So the other reason why I wanted that Meowth back on uh, that route that's south of Celadon, not Celadon, Cerulean, because then, uh, but I'm able to use payday and farm money. It made life a little bit easier. Hey, 51.
there's all these gravelers. Uh, I don't have a way to deal with that. Actually, it's hand attack. <laughs> that was perfect. What do I do? Sand attack! <laughs> Topaz, would you do me a favor and clip that for me? It's fucking awesome. Yes. Exact corn makes everything better. Probably teach uh, Charizard Fire Blast. While I'm at it. That would be a good idea. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just remembered. So, I'm a pretty big Game Grumps fan, if that uh, wasn't apparent by the, uh, the uh, YouTube clip I have up right now uh, on my Twitch. And I just remembered uh, that Aaron tried to beat the entire League 4 with Beedrill, <laughs> and then got all the way down to Alakazam and picked the wrong move. And Alakazam KO'd Beedrill. And uh, he had to start all over. And I just remember, like, I just hope that I don't do anything quite as stupid as that. But I'm kind of hoping I also have some sort of epic showdown with my rival here. Uh, you don't know how weird it is to have, like, some of these things not have the types that they normally do have. Like, I'm so used to, like, Magnemite being Steel-type, and all normal-type moves don't do jack against it. I'm used to Bite being a Dark-type move. So there's just a few things that are just, like, weird. back to the air and things, like, you know, like, I'm on stream, like, oh, shit, cut, just, what? you can't poison me after you paralyze me, that just doesn't work. I actually haven't, um, because I don't actually have bite. Um, I don't think I've had any of my Pokemon have the move bite, so I never had to have that temptation. If they did, um, they didn't last long. I mean, then again, like you only deal with ghosts for like two seconds uh, in the uh, tower over in Lavender Town. I see Venomoth and then just immediately my brain just like... <laughs>
Actually, I think Science Slash is going to work out really well. I, I, so I think I've said when I first got Sandshrew that I've never actually used Sand Slash before. And I think it's partly because uh, I had always used uh, Doug Trio if I was going to use a ground type Pokemon, but seldom did I actually use a ground type. Like, uh, like I, even I didn't use Golem. Like, it was always. I think ground and rock type Pokemon, since they were a dime a dozen, I never really used them. Um, like, if I was going to use a rock type Pokemon, it would have been, like, either. Um, Kabutops. Or Aerodactyl. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know, uh, Sand Slash was your life's favorite Pokemon, Charlie. Yeah, I... I'm appreciating Sand Slash all the more now. Mind's like, why is. Like, I don't remember Sand Slash really having, like, that much of a. Like, notoriety of being, like, a amazing Pokemon. So, like. I still remember playing Pokemon Yellow. And didn't realize that, like, I had to have, like, a good relationship with Pikachu in order to get Charmander. So, like, I didn't, I didn't get Charmander until, like, the very end of the game. Oh, he's not in red? That explains... So, truth be told, po I don't actually... Pokemon Blue is technically not mine. I mean, it's in my possession... And I'm sure my sister doesn't mind, but my sister was the one who had Pokemon Blue. I got Pokemon Red. So, like, but she doesn't she doesn't play uh, Pokemon much anymore. Well, she barely did in the first place. Uh, yeah, it's my sister's. Hey, 55. All right. That one's done. All right, let's do uh, let's do Pitmaster next. Let's get him some love. the Pokemon Silver and I got Pokemon Gold. I would uh, try to convince her to play games with me, and uh, I'd sit there and she'd spend like, gosh, half an hour making a character in a game, and I remember like, I'd wait that half an hour, she'd finish making the character, and then she'd leave, and I'm like, what the hell, I thought we were going to play it. Like, that was all she wanted to do, was just make a character. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 
rock throw. Could make this a little more interesting. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, there's definitely was the growing pains when, like, we were both in, uh, like, middle school to high school. Like, in that period of time, like, I just knew well enough, like, okay, just stay out of her way, don't, don't bother her, like, just let her do her thing. I mean, we have a much better relationship afterward. Um, so, Akka for... <laughs> I mean, my sister's younger as well. Uh, no, my sister's... I miss her. Like, I, I, I like spending time with her, but the fact of the matter is we have very little in common. forget that you have siblings, Torquez. Wait, do we all have sisters except for Charlie? does help now that my uh, sister has moved back near home to be able to be able to see her more often. So that's been that's been nice to have. thing about siblings, though, is, like, we all think that our siblings are just the most annoying people when we're growing up. But then, like, after we become adults, oftentimes, like, they end up becoming, like, good friends. Because seldom times, like, you actually get to... Like, no one else went through all of the shit that you went through as a kid than your siblings. Like, it, it's hard to find another person out there who had very similar experiences, and even then, like, they're not exactly the same. So, like, it, it's... I mean, if, you, if you get a sibling and you guys get along, like, take that to the bank. Like, it's, it's definitely worth it. No, I, I mean, so, I mean, I've been out of shampoo before and used my sister's shampoo. Don't tell her I said that. Sis, if you're watching, sorry. Break the bottle on her?
Oh, jeez. Yeah, siblings can do irritating things. Especially when there's, like, a lack of, like, personal boundary. Especially with relation to items. Like, I still remember... So this is... This is a story I haven't really told anybody, just because I haven't really thought much of, of it. Um... So I remember going to, like, I want to say church camp. Like, I, I, it was like a, I say it's like a week-long thing that you could do. Um, and it was like a, it was a big to-do, because I used to be a part of like a church group, and like, there was the program that we'd have for the kids. Um, uh, Awana, if anyone's out there knows what that is. Um, but anyways, like, we'd spend, like, a week up at this, like, kind of, like, I don't know, think of, like, a traditional, like, summer camp with, like, the cabins and, like, all that stuff. And that's more or less what it was like. Um, you, you had the mess hall, you had the meeting, you know, all the cabins and everything like that. Well, like, now I'm remembering all sorts of stuff that happened when I was there, but, uh, one of the... One of the things that I... Did you, Charlie? I don't remember you being there with me. Then again, I don't remember a whole ton other than about the story that I'm about to tell you guys. Anyways, so, like, one of the things was that... Like, we... Me and, like... Me and a friend of mine, uh... We end up... Like, finding some prop, something of someone's, and just start playing around with it. And, like, we got, you know, scolded for doing that. Um, because there's, there's not a whole lot of activities to do up there. Like, like outside of the organized activities, there wasn't, there wasn't shit to do. I mean, like, you play tetherball, you could play, uh, I forget what it's, what it's called, but basically there's just, it's like a, it's, it's like, uh, got a long ass board uh, and the objective is to take the balls and knock your opponents into the gutter at the end. Um, kind of like bowling but like you you play by hand instead. And I'm to do flame well, Yeah. And so like, those were, like, the two main activities that you could do. And, like, I remember there being, like, you'd line up to play. And it was always, like, you know, you just play, whoever wins gets to keep playing, and whoever loses has to rotate out. And I remember, like, that would be a thing where we'd just sit there and we'd get in line and we'd just do that for, you know, until, like, the next time it was to eat or whatever the next activity was. Um... So it was like the last day. So like we had already been talked to about you know personal belongings, and I don't know what got up our ass, but why we decided to do it. But um, we found this contraption. I still don't know what it exactly it is, but the only thing I can think of is that it's designed for like uh, marking like a. Um, the white lines in a baseball diamond, because um, also it had it was basically a wheel and it had like a like a uh, counter on it that would count up like the number of feet that you'd go. And um, I think there was also an apparatus where you could actually like put like some sort of like chalk or uh, spray paint or something um, that you could use in that regard. But um, it was like an hour and a half, two hours before we were supposed to leave um, to go back home. And we were already packed and ready to go, so we're just like, okay, what the hell do we do? And so we just start walking around circles amongst the cabins with this device. Well, the counselor came back, saw that we were doing it, and he was very upset. And, uh, he... I remember him, he really laid into us on that. He, like, I, I had... I think that's probably the worst I had, I felt 
from someone that was not my parents or a teacher. Like, it was that much, I was like, holy shit. And like, all we were doing was just walking around with this apparatus, like, just putzing around, like there's no big deal. But like, completely didn't even recognize the fact that, oh, here we are doing the exact same thing that we were not supposed to do, and we're doing it again. So, apparently, what more of the story is, if you don't learn the first time, well, I didn't learn the second time either. Now, is this Onyx dead yet? I feel like I'm getting close to 55. Oh, that was stupid. Holy fuck. Okay. That, that was, that was not tasty. So I have five Pokemon that I'm leveling up. Because I'm not going to take the time to level up him on chance. that's just... He's basically going to be a bolt sponge, I think. So if someone's charging up for an attack that I just don't want to deal with, uh, that, that shot's coming his way. Yeah, there we go. There's another level. So now I've got a 50, 255s, right? Yeah, 255s, 254s, and a 50. We are... I gotta say, I feel like Snort Plax is gonna be a fucking tank here.
Alright, that's not gonna work either. Alright, let's go heal. leveling Charizard and Snorlax in Victory Road here. Uh, I think I'm winning. Also, I don't think you can call me son. Pretty sure I'm older than you. I'm glad to see that uh, you playing Billion Road. Uh, has rubbed off on you, Akka. Now, if only you like Dokapon Kingdom, we could. Oh, shit. Which. I cannot wait to play uh, Dokapon on stream here. Uh, that's... That should be a, a shit ton of fun. Um, just need to... coordinate and make that happen. Because I don't want to play against the computer. I, I would like to play, like, actual a four-player game of that and just watch that just go nuts. There we go. Ooh, fire spin. Uh, Topaz, fire spin works like rap in this game, right? Where, like, the... Basically, it's a fire-type version of that. Well, for now, I can have it take place of Ember. But that's, uh, that's three done.
There we go. Alright. Gonna go heal. Because we only have one left to level here. And it's actually probably the most important one to level because we need to get, uh... We need to get Zapdos in a fighting shape here. So I'm gonna switch. And we're gonna fly. We're actually gonna go to Seafoam Islands. Um... Because there's just too many Pokemon here that are, are in Victory Road, that are... Just not the right type. So I head back to Seafoam Islands. Um, I should be able to encounter some decently leveled water Pokemon. that, but I don't have, now I have to worry about fucking explosions. I can just sit there and just obliterate a lot of these electric, or these water type Pokemon. Talking about 1147. Ooh, and a dugong? Hell yeah! Yeah, we'll make this work. share with the class. Um, Akka's playing Billion Road now uh, because she watched me play it yesterday and uh, really is liking it. Uh, so she showed me the end of year results with the graph. And I'm looking and, you know, Akka's doing pretty well and then I'm assuming Mira Clue's doing decent. And then there's Spoiled Kid, who just kind of hovers around like zero, and like toward the end, just takes a nosedive, reaching down to like negative 200 million. Like, dude got fucking wrecked. <laughs> oh, Thunder? Thundershocks would be so much more useful for leveling, though. <laughs> oh, 
Wait a minute. So thunder shock, thunder bolt, thunder. All. That that seal is not gonna be good. Um. See, this is see, thunder shock's 100% hit chance. Now I've got thunder, which is I mean, I'm gonna be nicer to have for the elite four, but. Leveling purposes, not so much. I suppose I could have gotten rid of drill pack, but it's a decent flying move, if I remember correctly. But anyways, but thunder is the actual sound of a lightning strike, not the actual lightning itself. So a thunder shock wouldn't be electric; it would be more of like a like a sonic boom kind of thing. Like, if you actually think about like, what a thunder shock would be. Sometimes I, I think that's one of the things that gets me about naming stuff is because I, I keep trying to like make it so it's like a p practical application of the words. Also, another thing I've noticed is that I have a hard time, like, going into autopilot sometimes. Like, even then, you can notice that I'll stop talking for just a moment just to concentrate on the game. So, like, I kind of go back and forth between, like, focusing on, like, talking and then I'll focus on the game. It's like that, uh, patting your head and rubbing your stomach thing. And, uh, I've never been able to do that. Uh, actually, uh, for all of you, uh, that were on swim team, or have taken swim lessons of some sort, I, I got through almost all the swim lessons, except I could not do the butterfly. The butterfly for me was that same concept. It, the motion that you make with your arms compared to the motion that you make with your legs is so different that I would end up doing the arm motion with my legs and the leg motion with my arms and I couldn't keep that separate. And so I could not do the butterfly to save my life. Front crawl, back crawl, you know, Whatever, like, most of those could easily do. You ask me to do the butterfly? Hell no. Nah. You can even tread water for 10 minutes. Although, <laughs> so. My. 
My mom is awesome. I love my mom. But uh, she's always been conscious about her weight. And so, like, to help encourage her, she wanted to do, like, a mini triathlon. So we end up signing up for a relay triathlon. So me, my sister, and my mom would each take one portion of the triathlon. So one of us had to do the swim, one of us had to bike, and one of us had to do the run. Well, my sister uh, was really good at cross country, so she took the run. And my mom could do the bike portion, which left me with the swim portion. It was a quarter mile open swim in a lake. So you just go out, take a right at a 90 degree around a buoy, take a 90, another 90 degree right at the next buoy, and you come back to shore. Sure, that's all fine and dandy. Except, uh, I hadn't been swimming in a while, so I wasn't exactly the strongest swimmer. I wasn't a terrible swimmer, but, uh, a bit rusty. And, uh, you know, there's something to be said between, like, swimming in a pool versus swimming in an open lake. Like, I could, I could do laps in a pool all day, because... It, like, there's the... A lot of times you, when you do the loop at the end of the pool, like, just that push-off can give you enough momentum to get you, like, some distance. So, like, you start thinking about, like, just that... Like, if you ever watched the Olympics and watched, like, all of the professional swimmers, like, they'll push off that wall. And they'll just, like, glide, like, a solid, like, 15, 20 feet before they even have to start swimming again. And, I guess for me, like, you, you kind of forget how much that plays a factor. Anyways, so, when we get to do the actual triathlon, it swims the first part. And the way that was structured was that, like, it wasn't just relays there. So, there's also those who wanted to do, like, so the relays were separate from all the individuals. But we all ran the same course. So, I got to start off with my swim, and all the relays went first. And then they did like uh, you know, males 18 to 30 or whatever, and then they did females 18 to 30, and then you know, they did it that way because they didn't want the slower uh, swimmers to get in the way of the faster swimmers. Uh, yeah. I got passed by a few groups as I was swimming, and I was going so slow that I was pretty sure that all of the lifeguards that were stationed around had their eyes locked on me the entire time to make sure that I didn't go under. Because I was... I was pretty damn slow, but... I... I don't think I... Act, I never went below water once. Like... In a way, like... Like, look, look, uh... Ah. No, I never did that, but, uh, I definitely had moments where it was just like, fuck! Like, I just sat there and tread water, because, like, it, it was frustrating. Like, no matter what style of stroke that I decided to do, I felt like I was slow as fuck. And there's nothing I could do to go faster. Like, the stroke that I'm probably most comfortable with would be the backstroke. But you do the backstroke, you can't exactly see what direction you're going, so then you just start going all over the place in all sort of cockeyed areas. So, like, I had to do front crawl, but it almost kind of turned into doggy paddle, because, like, the second I try to put my head down, again, I can't go in a straight line, I just start veering all over the place. So, I kind of... I, I spent... I don't know, I, I think it took me like 15 minutes to do that quarter mile swim, which is pretty slow. But I managed to do it at the very least, which I'm still proud of. Um, 
But the funny part was is that um, when you looked at, at the end, of the end results, there was like all of our time. So there was like the time for the swim portion, the time for the uh, bike, and then the time for the run. But there was also like the two sections for the transition because you know getting out of the water and getting into the bike and then getting that, getting all ready for that. There's like that whole aspect to it. So like. But since we were doing a relay, like, I did like, my mom was ready to go. She was on, she had the bikes, all she needed was me to hand off the, the tracker. Um, so it was like, for us, it was like a baton pass. So, like, everyone had, like, these uh, transition times of, like, you know, even the best ones were, like, a minute 45, a minute 50, and ours was, like, 12 seconds. <laughs> It was, uh, we, we were like, hmm, did we do that right? That seems a little low compared to everyone else, but, like, we're doing a relay triathlon, and she was, she was just, she was just ready, chopping at the bit to go. Um, which, even still, like, my ma, so, my ma's not the fastest biker either. And, for that, it was like, so it was a, a like, a very short, like it was a sprint triathlon on top of it, so I think it was like a somewhere over a ten mile uh, bike. I remember she told me that uh, you know she's just out there biking and she's you know doing her thing, and she looks behind her and she sees like a car just kind of like slowly following her. And she's like, "Oh, I'm the last one out here." <laughs> so. She, she she felt a little discouraged by that, but at the same time, like she's like she made it, and then my sister crushed the run, of course. But yeah, uh, that was I don't know why I started talking about that, but that was a thing. All right, I need to get uh, back to the Pokemon Center. Nope, not cut. Dig. Nope. Did not uh, stop at the Cinnabar Pokemon Center, so we'll have to fly there. country also my senior year in high school. That was an experience. Uh, I still remember, so, we had like a running club, which was kind of like pre-season, if you will, for uh, cross country, because cross country uh, was in the fall. So over the summer we did a uh, running club. I remember doing that to try to get ready for it, and uh, I couldn't even run the 5k. I had to, like, run and walk to start that. Um, I think my time ended up being, like, a little over 30 minutes when we first, like, checked to see how well we were doing. And... Like, I guess for me, running cross-country was... Like, first of all, it was just one of those things that, like, you know, it helps broaden your resume so when you're applying to college, like, it's like, oh, hey, you did a sport. And, you know, cross-country is... If you're not on varsity for cross-country, it's very much a personal thing. So, uh, I, you know, granted, because I couldn't even run a 5K, it, needless to say that I wasn't on the cross-country team, like the varsity team, but I was on the, you know, the, the junior varsity team. Which is basically like, like you take your eight best runners, they're on varsity. Everyone else, you're on junior varsity, which is fine, because uh, based on the times, like, like that's how you determine like which which team wins or whatever. Um, and 
so for Junior Varsity, like, because there's going to be, like, such a wide range of runners, like, you're going to have runners who are going to be able to, like, still do a sub-20, and then you've got runners who are going to be out there for, like, you know, the 30 minutes. And so, there really isn't any sense of, like, accomplishment or, like, you're not really racing against each other. Uh, it, it very much more is a personal race. Uh, and I still remember there was uh, one race, you know, and it was, it was like, mid-fall. Like, it was, it was actually a really neat uh, course, because, like, you're running amongst the trees, and, like, all the leaves were changing colors, and I had that gold and then red, and... Like, it was, it was very pretty, and it was very, uh, it was, a, it was a nice course to run. And as I'm running, uh, I see a kid from another school who's just walking, and he's got that walk where it's just like, oh, fuck, I am, I am, I am, I am done. And so, as I'm passing him, I'm like, come on, let's go! Like I just just some words of encouragement just to try and get him to to keep up. I actually slowed down and tried to get him to run with me, but like he only kept up for maybe like fifteen seconds and then had to stop again. Uh and so I, I kept going. And I'm just getting to the run the last turn, I can we're coming out of the woods at that point and I can see like where the finish line was. And out of nowhere, like, the kid that I passed before and helped ends up just, like, zooming past me, and I'm like, well, shit. Good for him, but damn. Makes me feel like I'm walking. <laughs> like, he, like, like, it's like the dude had a five-hour energy drink and just, like, put the wheels on and just zipped. I still remember that. that was, like, that's always tickled me pink. Um, but that's another thing is like like when you're running cross country it is it it's a marathon and a sprint all at once because you gotta pace yourself to get to make sure you have enough oomph to get to the end but at the same time you have to make sure that like you don't burn up all your energy and then hit the wall because I've seen some people like really push themselves in cross country like I've seen people like blowing chunks like going up to and after the finish line like people push themselves to where they are sick um, but I've also seen like people pretty near like uh, collapse um, so cross country at least when uh, we were in high school um, the boys run 5k, and then the girls, I believe, run 4k? I don't remember if, I don't think they run the same distance. They might. It might be 5k each. But I remember something weird about the girls running, like, a different... Different, uh, course or length there. I got me thinking. I'll have to ask my sister uh, next time I talk to her, which will probably be Christmas. Which, uh... If I... figure this out correctly, uh, this will go up on YouTube on Christmas Eve, so... I'll be asking her right as uh, you're watching this, possibly. So 5k actually sounds like a lot, but when you think about it, it's only 3.1 miles. Um,
3.1 miles isn't really that bad. Um, like, like to put in perspective. Trying to do math and play Pokemon is not working up, out in my favor at the moment. So, like, if you look at a football field. That's 100 yards from goal line to goal line. If you run back and forth on that goal line three times, that's about a mile. Right? Seems small. Let me, let's double check that. So it's 200 yards. That's 600 feet. Ah, that's why. So nine times ish. Just short. So nine times would be a mile. So back and forth would be one. Do that nine times. That's a mile. So you have to do that about 27 times. I eventually got there. Yeah. What I, what I end up doing is I divided by 3, or multiplied by 3 twice. So I, I multiplied by 9, so that's why I was off by as much as I was. There we go, 55. Agility? No, I don't need agility. got some PP ups and we've got some rare candies to distribute. So let's start with the PP ups. I got three of those. Um, what move am I going to be using quite a bit in this? Um, I feel like Ice Beam is a good choice. And I f I'm gonna go with Dig. Which is probably the one I'm gonna regret the most. We got 10. Let's just make this simple. Do oh, you want to learn Hyper Beam? Oof. That is tempting. Ooh. Do I take the Hyper Beam? I like Body Slam because there's that chance paralysis, which definitely helps. Um, but the Amnesia's been here to make sure that I always have a chance. Like, if I. It gives me that protection against special. 
which I, I want. I, I don't think Hyper Beam is going to work well for me. jittery here. It's happening. Pokemon? Zapdos was a good idea. Jinx is I psychic. Oh, I should have swapped. Let's. Ices must be neutral against fire, which then makes this weird. I'm gonna go for it. Thank God. Lapras. Yes, let's go back to Zapdos. Take another level. Onyx. Uh, that is perfect. Search your ass. The champ. Let's go back.
That's two. Shut up, Bruno. Let's just top them off, just to be safe. So this is Agatha, who's got ghost Pokemon. Ghosts really have no weakness, but a lot of them are ghost poison. So I think we're going to stick with Sand Slash being out front. Wait, it's got flying to it, and it's now going to be roasty toasty. Haunter. Back to Sand Slash. Just randomly uses Dream Eater. Arbok. Nope, we can stick with that. Not toxic. Okay, that went well. Rock and flying. I mean, should be just dealer's choice. Faster. Good job. Still got frozen. Alright, that's... That's Lance! 
We're down to, uh, it's, it's one fight. That's it. That's all we got left. I named him Chad at the very beginning of the game. I could go catch Mewtwo if you want. Uh, I mean, all I have to do is win this fight and I officially beat the... I, I win at the Nuzlocke here. Alright. Let's pitch it down. Alakazam. This is this is one that I'm kind of afraid of. I don't know how to deal with Alakazam. What do I do? Alakazam's got a shit ton of special, so he has no defense, so I need to hit him with physical. Uh, we are gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna buy Slam. <laughs> okay, that worked out way better than I thought it would. Right on. Yes, uh, we're gonna switch back to Vaporeon. I didn't, I didn't punch it with Snorlax, I just kind of like flopped on top of it. And it squished like a pancake. What are we at? RK9? <laughs> sure! <laughs> Alright, bring it on! Although I could have switched to uh, Sand Slash and Doug got rid of him that way, that would have been cool too. Executor! There he is, Pit Master. The only thing I don't like about giving names is that I have to actually sit there and be like, okay. What are you? Ow. 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 Fuck off! Hey, guess what? It's Blastoise. Alright, attempt for showboating. Oh, critical hit on the thunder. That is a W, baby! I do not play Pokemon games for the plot. hours of game time. Uh, officially, like, play time would be closer to about t 11 to 12. But uh, thanks to uh, the Dodrio Game Boy over here on Pokemon Stadium, this uh, actually worked out pretty well.
Awesome. So yeah, I got uh, I got some time. We can uh, screw around some other stuff, or I could uh, I could go fight Mewtwo. Um, I'm not gonna catch Mewtwo, I don't think. Uh, oh, that's right, I think I just... Uh, yep, I used the Master Ball to get Zapdos. Not really. I mean, it's going to pretty much go just like how that Kadabra went. So I guess just checking, is this like extra innings for the... Uh, Nuzlocke run. I mean, at this point, it's just, I'm just doing whatever you guys want me to do. Because otherwise... I could go get Mewtwo, that would kind of fit. I mean... Back to Cerulean. All right. Well, since I have one vote for getting Mewtwo, then uh, getting Mewtwo will be the final challenge here in this uh, this run. Dodrio. 
I do not remember much about this. I think, I, I think there's only two floors. It's always a good sign that I haven't been there yet. What? An electrode? Sometimes?
I think Mewtwo is on this floor. Put Snorlax out there, because Snorlax can take that hit. If I remember correctly, like Mewtwo's like level 70, right? I'm really hoping I get lucky with this ice beam. And I freeze it.
I missed the Pokemon? That's a thing? What does it mean? Is that a thing? Would you like me to reload the game, Charlie? Like, Nuzlocke flavored just killed Mewtwo. I mean, I already won. I think I, this is just extra f stuff. Um. Want me to catch Mewtwo, Charlie? Alright. Just for you, I'll catch Mewtwo. going to do the uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 minigames.
Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I'm watching Crit. Oh ho 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 ho! Nickname uh, Mewtwo here. Popsicle? Oh, sure enough. Play some mini games. All right. Use the control stick to move from side to side. All right. Ow. Oh, this is taking some time. Get... Oh, that was some bullshit. I was winning up until that very last moment, and then I got knocked right into that Magnemite. That was no good. Alright. Topsy Turvy. Super good at this mini game. Ow. Man. I'm not even. I didn't even score a point. <laughs>
that was not good. I took a minus three on that. Alright, that went better. comes down to the final round. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Finally won one. Um, no, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for next week yet. Um, What is that? Nope, my Ultra Ball, my Ultra Ball. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck you all. Eat dicks. Master Ball, give me, 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 give me. Nom, nom, nom. Nope, 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 nope. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. No, no, fuck it. Oh, I still won. I'm not... well... This is basically Pong, right? to myself.
fuck. Yeah! I made it. Really, I counted nine, but okay. you doing? <laughs> Are we even watching the same? Oh. Pichu, Pikachu, and Psyduck. Oh, all Pokemon? Look, I just all press the button and they're just like, na 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 na. Oh. Nope. You saw it here first, folks. Ty can't count. this for uh like if you actually had Pokemon like you had your Togepi or your Golbat like you play these mini games and you can actually get like extra like affection with your uh your Pokemon so that way they uh like uh they evolve faster because they that was when, this is when they introduced evolving through affinity so that's why like a lot of these Pokemon are like all the baby Pokemon evolved that way. Oh you bitches. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh god.
we are off to a great start. What is this? What is up with the yellow computer? I swear. for the weekend. Oh, we could, we could do a quiz. We could see, oh. So back in my day, I could do 23 questions in a row. Let's see how bad this goes. <laughs> How much PP does Crychop have? Oh god. Got it right. <laughs> All right let's, let's try this again. Let's see if I can do better than 10. Oh, smooch him. I wish I would, like, come on. Let's, let's see the question. Oh, 
my gosh. Such a stupid question. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's not bad. Having been outside the Pokemon world for... Gosh. Well, the last game I played was uh, Black and White 2, so... Haven't had played these games in so long. That's, 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 not, a, that's not too shabby. Nothing to shake a stick at. Alright. Well, that about does it for me for today's stream. Uh, Monday, we got uh, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. We're going to finish that up, hopefully. Assuming my Super Nintendo decides to not take a crap on me. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to play more Digimon, hopefully. Uh, I feel like that game's coming to a head, so I'm not quite sure how much we have left of that. But uh, I assume we still have another play session in us. Um... Thursday, we'll play more Billion Road, and then next Friday, I actually quite haven't decided what to do yet. Um, looking at the suggestions I see on Twitch, um, kind of leaning toward Baba Is You, I feel like that would be a fun game to play. Um, but I was kind of going to save that for more of uh, a Christmas stream. I think that would be fun to do, but uh, we'll see. I'm open to suggestions. If anyone has anything they want me to play, uh, feel free to throw that down on uh, my suggestion on my Twitch page. And uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, um, I'm also playing Let It Die uh, as well. But since that game is uh, it's a roguelike, but the map changes based on what day of the week it is. So putting it on a specific day doesn't really make a whole ton of sense. So you can find me playing that at random times. So make sure you have notifications turned on if you want to watch me play that. Otherwise, you can always watch the replays on my Twitch channel or on my YouTube channel. So I got all that going on. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions or ideas that you'd like to see me do or play, let me know. I'll be more than happy to take a look at those. All right, guys. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye.